In this video, I want to discuss the complicated and, uh, if you like, conflict of interest relationship that pro-conscious black men seem to have with the white LGBTQ community. You think to yourself, what do pro-conscious black men have in common with the white LGBTQ community? Especially since you ask any gay black man, racism in the LGBTQ world is rampant. You do research racism in the LGBTQ world is rampant. You know, when a lot of black men were hunting, you know, they were hungry, look, looking for white love of the same sex. And they went on grinder and the racism that they that they faced, you know, say go back to your own race, etc. You know, but they didn't want that. I'm looking for a white man. But despite the racism that exists in the white LGBTQ world, pro-conscious black men seem to have a love affair, seem to have an affinity with that world than they do black women. They seem to want to promote the interest of the white LGBTQ world than they do black women. If you post anything regarding the LGBTQ, you know, say you're against, you know, or you're concerned about it, suddenly, ah, I don't mind. These are black, Dovga, you will face black boys who are raised without fathers. You're faced with black boys who need strong male role models, but it doesn't seem to register or filter into the minds of these pro-black conscious men that black boys need a strong black father around. They're busy promoting, you know, the LGBTQ agenda. And you ask yourself the question, why? What are their motives? These same pro-black conscious men, the contradictions are they hate interracial relationship, heterosexual, heterosexual, interracial relationship however they have no problem when it comes to promoting the lgbtq you begin to realize the conflict of interest is that what you defend is what you're into you know, this is a logical premise in which to build on what you don't attack you must be into let me give you an example the reason why racism cannot and will not disappear is because most white people do not have black people in their families. So therefore it's not in their interest to fight against racism because what doesn't affect you, you don't care about. So hence, if you are defending something, it's because you have an interest and an affinity in what you're defending. Now, when I posted a video of thousands of missing black women, thousands in Britain and America, these pro-conscious black men, oh, I love my black sister, oh, I love my black sister, I love these new black women. Not one of them, not one of them commented on the thousands of missing black women around the world but if somebody posts something against the lgbtq suddenly they become shy and they come out the woodworks no there's nothing wrong with it <laughs> crossing their legs and creaming their hair there's nothing wrong with it or they're bald dead there's nothing wrong with it but as soon as you post you know a video of thousands of missing black women in america and britain these pro-black conscious men become quiet. Now please, I've studied psychology and sociology. I'm well read. And one thing you can always tell when someone is on the down low, either they beat up 
their girlfriends or their wives because they're sexually frustrated or they wear uniforms become ultra masculine or they infiltrate a group and destroy women hence oh i prefer black women who are natural and they show the most if you like unattractive black woman and suddenly says she's what i'm look, looking for playing games these are the same pro-conscious black men in the 70s and 80s who left black women to go for white women with nice long hair then overnight overnight suddenly the afro hair is in this is how they play psychological warfare on the minds of black women because really in secret it's the same sex that they're looking for they can't come out the closet and be honest so instead he destroys black women however when it comes to the lgbtq community he becomes shy his tone of voice suddenly changes the thousands of missing black women all over the world black women who've been abused and the black guys are quiet these pro-conscious black men are quiet have nothing to say and that's the reason why black women will continue to go missing around the world why because let me put me we black men we don't care or it would not have happened in the first place the example the white man you have to praise the white man he's given the white woman an empire he gave her mansions he gave her a good life if we are so pro-black conscious why is it we're selling negativity to, to black women telling her oh you're oppressed stay where you are in the ghetto stay where you are poor but as soon as we no, we go for white women let me say me as soon as we go for white women suddenly we don't believe in racism we don't believe in oppression we give black women negativity either it's because we're gay in secret or we have a sinister agenda a lot of these pro-black groups run by black men i'd be surprised if they allowed this video i'd be surprised if they allow it because they want to keep black women dumb and stupid they want to keep her in the dark so she doesn't know the mind games that he's playing yeah i could go on for hours uh, these poor black cultures are they upset with racism but do you know something as soon as they find a beautiful blonde woman oh brunette suddenly racism does not exist i will do lots of videos on, on this area because our people need to wake up we're playing games serious games with each other this is a form of black and black self-hatred that we will destroy our community our race either because we want to we're in the closet or because we want to marry out our race or because we simply don't respect each other so we give each other garbage and negativity oh, racism oh, oh, i can't get a job but as soon as we go for white women, we become successful and racism doesn't exist. So we give each other, it's not, oh, I can never find this damn book, right? Why would I put it, right? But however, right, in uh, um, the secret to a successful black relationship, you don't just go into black relationships, you go into economy and positive African affirmation, how to build your self-esteem. Because we black people, we have no self-esteem. And that's the reason why we treat each other the way that we do. The number of videos on, on YouTube, black people attacking black people, right? Black people sell each other out in one way or the other. Or oh, we have all these groups, black conscious groups, but our intentions is not to build black business not to empower the black woman our intention is to play games and i used to have a group on on facebook and it was giving me heart pain it was giving me heart pain the games that black people played with each other these are pro blacks and you know nubian go back to africa consciousness and you know something if I had not shot that group down, I would have ended up with a heart attack. That's how, this is how hard it is 
to stop black people playing games with each other. This is how difficult it is for black people to unite. How did it end up with a heart attack? In fact, let me tell you this. I don't give a damn what you think, right? My white friends said to me, do you know something? You better shut down that group on Facebook or it's going to damage your health. I was getting heart pain. The, 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 the mind games that black people are playing with each other. Yet we say black people, when we have money, we marry into white. We say black people, you know, when we want luxuries and comfort, suddenly we abandon our race. We only give each other negative energy. Oh, racism, racism. Only because we're playing a game. But as soon as we want to climb that ladder, suddenly, oh, racism doesn't exist. We need to wake up and find out whether we've been taken for a ride. What has pro-black conscious group done for you, black woman? What have they done for you economically? What have they done for your sons? Your sons who were raised without fathers. What has these pro-black conscious group done? What has Black Lives Matter, which was organized by, or yes, it was founded by three black lesbians and a black homosexual. What have they done for the black family? What have they done? You know, Black Lives Matter has raised one billion. One billion. Where has that money gone to? The black gay community? The black lesbian community? Has it gone to heterosexual black families? Where has the money gone to? Black boys need fathers. They need strong male role models. The black family is on the decline. But we too, look, I'm not attacking interracial relationship. What I'm attacking is hypocrisy. We pretend, we are poor black, we are. Yet deep inside, we have a sinister ulterior motives. Do you know how many, I don't want to name names, but you know what we're talking about if you're well informed on black civil rights activists and black political, you know, conscious people, quote unquote, taking money off black people, promising to deliver projects, and you don't see a cent. And this is the reason why black people find it hard to trust black people, because we, we, we play games, we scam each other, whether it's the church. You know, I, I told you I'm going to do lots of videos in this area where black male pastors abuse black women, abuse them, get, pretend to give them Jesus, but at the same time they give them the sausage. They give them a sausage, not give them Jesus, they give them a black sausage. This is what happens, and this is the reason why we find it hard to respect each other and to have racial pride and integrity. Why do you so many black boys out there stabbing each other? Because they do not honor what looks like them. When they look in the mirror, they don't see a black man. They see a walking sausage. When they look in the mirror, they see failure. When they look in the mirror, they see hopelessness. They don't see a strong black man. They don't see that. They probably see their mothers. And they're supposed to see their man. And that's the reason why we're in a bad condition. We pretend that, oh, uh, pro-black groups, etc. Yet we are too busy promoting white LGBTQ. They well looked after. The system, big corporate companies are taking care of the white LGBTQ community. Big corporate companies are taking care, even, you know, they're taking care of black gays and black lesbians. But you know something? Black heterosexual family, black boys who are raised without fathers, they got their fathers run off with white women. The big corporate companies are not supporting that kind of black family. As I, I repeat the question, what has pro-black conscious groups done for black boys? What have they done? Please challenge me. Have a Zoom. Rather than give me a thumbs down or moan and whinge. Come and debate me on Zoom. What have you done? You pocket these money from the gullible black people. Keep them angry. But as soon as we go, I'm putting myself in that category. As soon as we go for white women, 
or as soon as we go on the down low, suddenly we change. We don't want to be bitter no more. We, we don't want to be believing racism anymore. We leave that for the black woman. Keep her angry. Keep her poor. Keep her in the ghetto. Control her with negative energy. As I said, a lot of pro... Let me go back to the subject. And there's so much to cover. A lot of pro-conscious black men are pushing the white LGBTQ cause. I don't care about the thousands of missing black women and the, the scientific fact the science you can't argue with science look at the algorithms they don't even look at that video when i made a video of science claim that britney spears was cleopatra every black guy came on really to look for you know britney spears look for britney spears with a lovely you know pharaoh hairstyle you know, pretending that mm -hmm, I'm attacking her. Why not look at the thousands of missing black women that, that are taking place in America and Britain? Why are you obsessed with Britney Spears looking like Cleopatra? That's not going to put food on your table. That's not going to strengthen your black sons to be men. Why are you looking at Britney Spears? Something don't make sense. We need to get our act in order. We need to get right because the world is laughing at our condition. The world is mocking us and that's why racism cannot change. I'll be surprised if any black groups allow this video. And that's why you black women, you have to share this video. Because a lot of black men are not the good, the good black men if there's any. Because when I, when I cover that video, thousands of missing black women. Yeah, I've got a page on Facebook called 21st Century Racism in Britain and America. 21st Century Racism in Britain and America on Facebook. Loads of black guys on there. Loads. When I covered thousands of missing black women, not one had anything to say. That is serious. But you express concerns regarding the power of the white LGBTQ community, suddenly these black guys come up, come up, you know, awaken. They, they stir up, you know, spirit in them, turn, stir them up. The science speaks for themselves. Any pro-black conscious want to come and debate me? Please, right, leave me a message, leave me your email, and I will send you an invite on Zoom, and let us talk like men. Over.